Welcome back guys to another episode. Um, today we're going to be running through the installation process and a little review of our new Lightfox 9 inch driving lights. We'd like to start off by thanking Stanley uh, at Vic Off Road for reaching out to us and giving us these lights to put to the test on our trip. So as you can see, we do not have any or a light bar and um, personally I've never had any spotlights, light bars or anything so it was something that we definitely needed and it was something we did look into uh, before we started our trip but we we're in so much of a rush to get it done in a time frame that we just never got around to it so this is going to be awesome. So in this video we're going to run through what comes in the box with your 9 inch driving lights by Lightfox, what comes in the plug and play kit uh, for the MP300, uh, how easily they are to be installed and we're currently on the road in the Northern Territory so you can do it basically anywhere. And tonight we're going to hit the road and show you just how well they perform. So we'll start off with what comes in the box. Firstly we have the 9 inch driving light, we have the clear protective covers, we have the blackout covers which are currently installed on the light, we have four colour changing rings so if you don't like the orange that's on the front you can have the black, yellow or grey. It comes with a wiring harness for standard vehicles. It comes with the two rubber mounting pads that go underneath the foot of your driving light in between your bracket and your bull bar. It comes with all your hardware to mount the driving light. And as an extra part of the install we got a plug and play harness for an MP300. We also have the headlight adapter for the MP300 that comes in the plug and play harness, which is for your IPDM, which is Intelligent Power Distribution Module, which can be easily blown with a test light, a multimeter, and your wiring harness if it is wired incorrectly. So if you have a Navara or a cars with an IPDM, you're best to get the plug and play kit and save yourself the hassle of damaging any of your components. The driving lights are IP68 rated, so the dust and water ingression is basically none. They can stay underwater for extended periods of time with no damage. Perfect uh, for the Australian environment. These driving lights come with insanely bright Osram LEDs built in. They are 16,342 lumens in a pair and they are one lux at 2.1 kilometers. The lights come with a 4mm thick 304 stainless bracket holding it to your bull bar and holding the light. Rightio, so enough about what's in the box, let's get to the install. So some of the tools that we're going to need for the install is going to be some cable ties to tidy up the wiring, a screwdriver to poke a hole in the grommet in the firewall which we'll show you soon. That's only because I don't have any steel rod we're currently travelling and I don't have any available. Some snips to cut the cable ties to clean it all up a 13 mil spanner and a 19 mil spanner. Right here, so with the plug and play harness, uh, it's much the same as the harness that comes in the kit. If we start at inside the car, we have the switch for the light. So uh, with your driving light, they have to be able to be turned off and while your high beams are still on for it to be legal. So you have your normal driving light, you turn your high beams on, you can have your spotlights on, and then you turn your spotlights off. We come further down the harness and we have the relay, which this relay is a 24 volt relay. So we're gonna pop this one off and we're gonna put on our 12 volt relay. So this relay comes standard for your trucks and whatnot. So your cars, um, vans, small vehicles have 12 volt. As we make our way down, we have the positive and the negative leads. We have an inline fuse here that has got a blade fuse that already comes in it with a 40 amp fuse inside there. As we make our way further down, we have the T-plug that plugs into the MP300 adapter that goes into the back of the headlight. And we have the two Deutz plugs that plug into the back of the spotlight. 
Right, so you'll also need a 10mm spanner just to disconnect the negative of your battery so that nothing shorts out. Right, so I've roughly laid the wiring harness out how it's going to go. I've run the two Deutz plug leads out. I've run our headlight connection lead to there. I've got our relay, which we're going to just mount up onto one of these bolt holes here. And I've got the positive to go on there and the negative to go on here. I've also got your lead that's going to go inside the cab that we're going to poke through a grommet down in here. So where that white cable is going through is a grommet that I've used previously and we're just going to use that again. Radio, so I've connected the earth to the earth terminal. I'm just going to pull the fuse out of the inline holder before I connect the positive terminal just to be completely 100% sure that there's going to be no power running to anything. So on the right hand side of the engine bay, if you're looking into it, uh, in the MP300s there is a grommet right there at the end of my finger with the white wire going through it. Um, that is one that we're going to use today, so we're just going to pop that out with my fingers and we're going to poke a hole through the grommet, push the wires back through into the cab. Reach down and just pop that out. Okay, there's the grommet, there's the hole in the firewall, ready for me to poke a hole with the screwdriver and push the wires through. So, yeah, so we've got the wires through the grommet there, poked the hole in there, made it a bit bigger. So now we're going to get the end of this wire and we're going to poke it through the hole in the firewall down there and we'll grab it from inside the car and pull it through. Oh yeah, so we're back in the car, the wire is through the firewall, we've plugged the plug back in to our button, so now we're just going to run it across the back here, up there, over to the driver's side. So as you can see, it's coming through, and straight up, so we're going to grab this cable now, and we're going to just bunch it up, zip tie it up, but I'm just going to feed it up through the steering column right here. Oh yeah, so I got it threaded through the steering column, just going to plug it together down there, and I'm just going to mount this switch right up here out of the way of my legs and everything else. So it's just got, the back's got tape on it. And yeah, so I put that plug together, cable tie this wiring up, stick this switch very easy right where i need it the sticky pad is off so i'm just going to find a nice spot and push it down but yeah so now it's perfectly stuck in place radio so we've got the grommet back in wires are through now we're going to mount this relay just through this hole here, uh, just with a zip tie. Got our snips, cut it off. Now we're going to move down and at the back of the headlight here there is the black plug. So we're going to remove that black plug and we're going to grab our adapter for the Navara. Once you've got the headlight plug undone down there, you grab that male connector coming out of the factory harness and you plug it into the female side of your harness for the MP300 light. You plug your male side back into the female of the headlight and you get your T-plug and you add it back on to the T-plug of the plug and play harness. Plug that in until it clicks. Grab the male side of the original harness, clip it into the female, get those wires to go together until they click, and you're left over with the T-plug, which you plug straight into the plug and play harness. Grab either end from the T-plugs and clip them together. Right here, so we're going to grab both the Deutz plugs, 
for the spotlights and we're just gonna run them up underneath here and through to the front of the grill. So I've just run the lead underneath this plate along the front you can see them hanging down and I just have each part coming out the front for when I'm out the spotlight to be plugged in. So after I've mounted the spotlights on and I've plugged the cables in, I'll just pull them back out a little bit, uh, zip tie them up here with my UHF cable, zip tie them up here and I'll probably just bunch it a little bit and zip tie it out the road neatly. Start by opening the hatches in the grill. Grab each one of our rubber pads and just sit them down where they have to go. Grabbing each spotlight, sitting it on top of the rubber pad, grabbing our bolt, and just dropping them down in. So we'll grab two flat washers, two spring washers, and two nuts. Grab the other light, onto the bracket, two bolts in. So we'll grab the Deutz plug and just clip it together until it clicks. Come over to the next one, clip it together. We'll go ahead and we'll just tidy up this wiring and just put it neatly down in there. Tuck it down. Push them down. Out of the road. Right here, the wiring is all nicely tucked away. Relays hidden. The wiring here is hidden and zip tied. The rest of the wiring harness is up in here and zip tied, so all you're left with is the nice cables hanging out the back. We need to adjust the spotlights obviously, so I'm just going to do them up where I think uh, they'll be right for now, and then tonight we'll go ahead and adjust them up uh, once we get out onto the road. Oh yeah, so now that it's all done, our fuse is still out, we'll come over and we'll connect our negative back onto the battery, and once I've tightened this up, Put the fuse back in and we'll test the lights out.
there guys, so there you have it. The lights work absolutely unreal. We've moved on from King Ash Bay. Uh, we've done about 250 k's uh, on the corrugated roads here in the Northern Territory and they have not budged a millimetre. So they are extremely good, they, I love them. <laughs> they look great, they're built tough, the price is awesome. If you want a pair, head over to vicoffroad.com.au and once again, thanks to Stanley and Vic Offroad for sending us the spotlights to put to the test in the Australian environment. We look forward to working with you in the future. Cheers.